Hello friends! If you want to access files in your Kufr Cloud storage as if they were stored locally on your computer, you can map Kufr as a network drive. Now, the easiest way to do this would be to use the Kufr desktop app, but if you prefer to do a manual setup, you can do that too. I'll show you how to do it on Windows, Mac and Linux. In any case, you'll need to generate an application-specific password for your WebDAV connection. See our video tutorial if you need help with that. Once you've got your password ready, we can get started with the setup. Feel free to skip ahead to the chapter that's relevant for you. Here's how to map Kufr as a network drive on Windows. Click on Start, then type in This PC. In the App panel, find and click on Map Network Drive. In this wizard, select an available drive letter and then enter Kufr's WebDAV address in the folder field. Tick this box here if you want to use WebDAV to access your cloud storage every time or leave it to connect just once. Next, tick the box that says Connect using different credentials Click on Finish to continue. When prompted, enter your Kufr username and the application-specific password you created earlier. Click OK, and that's it! Let's go back to this PC to see if it worked. Alright, here's our Kufr network drive. You can go ahead and rename it to keep things tidy. Let's look at how you can mount Kufr as a share on a Mac. First, open Finder. Click on Go, then select Connect to Server. In the new window, enter Kufr's WebDAV address. And then click on Connect. Next, you'll type in your Kufr username and the application-specific password you created previously. Again, click Connect. If you followed these instructions, your Kufr should now be mounted as a share, and you can access it at any time using Finder. Here's how to set up a WebDAV connection to Kufr on Linux. Our example uses the POP OS, so while the steps are essentially the same regardless of the distribution, it could look a bit different for you. In your file manager, open Other Locations in the left sidebar. Next, type the WebDAV address into the Connect to Server field, then click Connect. Note that this address is different than for Windows or Mac. A dialog will pop up where you'll be able to enter your Kufr username and the app-specific password you generated earlier. Again, click Connect to finish setting up the connection. Alright, that's all for this tutorial. Were you able to set up your WebDAV connection successfully? Let me know how it went for you in the comments. Check out our other videos for more guides and tips on how to make the most of your Kufr Cloud storage. Thanks for watching!